It's hard to believe it. It's been a year already. It was a year ago that I launched Spirituality Beyond Borders on YouTube. And in the past year, I've tried to share various thoughts and reflections and information about the spiritual dimension of our lives. I understand the spiritual dimension of our life is part of who we are. Many people think about spirituality as something that's outside of us, that's amorphous, that's ethereal. But just as we have a body, a mind, emotions that are other dimensions of ourselves, so spirituality is another one of those dimensions. It's a dimension that, like the others, helps to make us who we are. So I've tried to explore spirituality and spiritual practice and the spiritual dimension from a perspective that was practical, that gave some insights into how we live and to explore our experience. In particular, I've shared from the perspective of psychology, both some theory and current research, as well as neuropsychology, so that I'm not really reflecting on any one particular spiritual or religious tradition, Although I do try to talk about as reference points some of the various great traditions of the world, but really the focus of spirituality beyond borders is human experience, your experience and my experience, how we make the way through the world today and how we make sense of what it means to be alive, to live in relationship with others and being in an ongoing uh, process of integrating that spiritual dimension of our lives. You know, sometimes people think that spirituality is just about personal development. It's about finding peace for ourselves, about our own personal fulfillment. But that's not what I think spirituality and the spiritual dimension are really all about. Yes, spirituality does lead us to a sense of peace. It does bring us into wholeness. And, and when we're engaged in spiritual practice, that is one of the benefits. But those very spiritual practices take us out of ourselves to not just be peaceful people in our own little cocoon, but help us to have compassion for others and for the world to recognize the suffering of the world as we come to our own sense of healing and, and to be able to respond to that sense of suffering, that pain, and, and bring healing and peace into the world. That's not just my opinion. Many great spiritual teachers have shared that opinion. Recently departed Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh had this as a central focus in his life. He understood that mindfulness was, yes, important in terms of our ability to live in a mindful way in every moment, to be aware, to be focused, but that mindfulness took us beyond ourselves to the pain of the world and to bring compassion into the pain and suffering in the world. And that's part of why he was very dedicated to civil rights issues, and to other kinds of social justice movements throughout his life. He was a great inspiration to social justice workers and, and wasn't focused on, you know, having our own little safe space for our spiritual practice, but really being part of the world and engaged. Social scientists tell us that if 20% of people are engaged in the world in a way to bring change, the change will happen. So just think about that. If a fifth to maybe a quarter of the people in, in, in a population, whatever that population would be, may be, are on the bandwagon in a certain direction, it pulls everyone else along. So do you want to see peace in the world? Then peace in the world will begin when we are engaged in making peace in our lives for ourselves and for those around us and allow that to reverberate out? Do you wanna see climate change dealt with and to live in a way that's more consonant with the environment? Then those changes begin with us and those changes continue to move through us to others as we have compassion for the planet we're living in and really bring healing to the planet rather than bringing harm. Do you want to see the end of, of racism and sexism and homophobia and all the social ills that divide us one from another? 
then if 20 or 25 percent of people really begin to live in a way that changes that, that understands the deep connections we share one with another, then those changes will happen. Those things are within our power. And they begin as we begin to integrate that spiritual dimension, that dimension of wholeness more fully in our lives. And that's what makes me more, most excited about spirituality beyond borders, because it's inviting us all into a process to not only bring wholeness and health to ourselves, but for the world. So in this next year, I look forward to sharing different insights and more insights and reflecting more with you. In that process, your comments and emails are very helpful to me. So please reach out to me and I'd like to hear what's resonating with you so that I can try to respond to that. I'm sure you have friends who have similar values to your own. So share these videos with them and help invite them into this process too. Know that I really appreciate your presence. Subscribe to this video, click the bell, share it, leave comments. And I really appreciate that you took time to be with me today. Thanks, and I hope it's a good day for you.